What up, Lakers Universe? It's none other than your boy Lambo here, repping for the Lakers, as you can see. I'm out here in Vegas, getting ready to go to the Summer League. But, word on the street is LeBron is pushing hard for the Lakers to get Kyrie Irving. And it looks like the Brooklyn Nets really are trying to hold off on trading Kyrie. Um, they're wanting Russell Westbrook and two first round draft picks in order to give the Lakers Kyrie Irving. But the Lakers are reluctant to let go of those draft picks. So they're holding off and saying, look, we'll give you one draft pick and Russell Westbrook, but we're not giving you two. I don't think LeBron likes that. He just wants Kyrie at all costs and wants to get rid of Russell Westbrook. Um, so Brooklyn has been adamant in saying that they have Kevin Durant trade offers that they're thinking about doing. So they want to actually complete the Kevin Durant trades before they actually trade away Kyrie Irving. Um, but they've been dragging their feet and doing that. They've been uh, putting in trade requests that quite, quite frankly, are too steep. No one really wants to pay that premium price for Kevin Durant, um, mainly because he's been out a lot. Uh, he is 34 years of age. Um, he's requesting a trade uh, after signing a four year extension. And so a lot of that stuff is affecting Kevin Durant's uh, market value out there. One thing that did happen over the last 48 hours is the Andre Ayton for the Phoenix Suns went ahead and signed an offer sheet with the Indiana Pacers for a uh, for a supermax deal. Uh, I believe it's somewhere around 135 million dollars. And so what that did is that helped speed up the process because Phoenix was one of the destinations that Kevin Durant wanted to be traded to. But with DeAndre Ayton signing this maximum deal, the Suns had to go ahead and match the deal and re-sign Ayton. And so they can't even include him in any type of package that they were trying to put together to get Kevin Durant. So hopefully this speeds up the process and lets the Nets know, okay, we really don't have what we thought we had out here. And they're going to have to go ahead and make a decision. Are they actually going to trade Kevin Durant or actually going to keep them? And hopefully that kind of has a domino effect for the Lakers to say, okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and trade Kyrie Irving or we're going to go ahead and keep Kyrie Irving. So I hope that it gets done soon because it seems like the longer that it takes, um, the less likely that it is that it's going to happen. Keep in mind, Kyrie Irving already said that he wants to be a Laker. So he's only under contract for one more year. If the Nets do not trade him, then next year they're gonna lose him for nothing anyway. And he's gonna be able to walk and just sign with any team that he wants. So the Lakers don't have to trade for him right now. And for me, if I was in their position, I would advise them if they have a secondary trade, go ahead and activate that. Get those uh, players in place and so you can kind of have Darwin, Darvin Ham, you know, tweak in his game plan around the people that he's actually going to have and move forward because you can always get Kyrie next year. You don't have to wait for the Nets because it's really seeming like that whole Kawhi Leonard thing over again. We're waiting, trying to see if uh, Kawhi, if you guys remember the, what, two, three years ago, we were waiting to see if Kawhi Leonard was going to sign with the Lakers. Ultimately, he signed with the Clippers, and then it left us scrambling, trying to figure out, you know, who's going to be on our team. But um, that's my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? Do you like the idea of Kyrie Irving coming to the Lakers? Uh, do you think that that's absolutely a move that we have to do for our offseason to be considered as a success? I don't. I feel like if we got a plan B, we should go ahead and activate that. Um, you know, we waited long enough. Kyrie, if you are serious about coming to the Lakers, we'll sign you next year. Uh, shout out to Lakers Universe once again. I'll be at the Summer League. You know, check out some of these rookies, man. And I'm out.